I think we are we're always uh, reviewing uh, the situation. Uh, this is all very new. Everything is changing. We're getting people um, calling us, writing to us, you know, w w with their issues. So, so I, I can't really give you detail as to what we will be introducing. But yes, there will definitely be new things uh, uh, coming coming the way. Are the beat COVID measures enough? Do you think? Because we're still hearing some individual stories from businesses who don't think it it'll be enough for them to survive. I think it's uh, it's it's early days to to say whether whether they are enough. Uh, we we need we need to we need to get these initial measures into place. We need this month of April to to go by, and uh, and then we will see what uh, what is required for for me. Well, many businesses, in particular the travel business and restaurants, rely on seasonal business like Easter to carry them through the year. So it's not just a question of helping them get through April, surely, because the impact will be felt for many months to come. Look, absolutely. I mean, we need to we need to um, uh, realize that the the there's going to be significant impact uh, on the economy, and uh, the government has done everything possible to mitigate that that impact. This is not a normal situation. This is new to everybody, so we can't we can't we can't plan in as in what are we going to do for for May or what are we going to do for June. We need to see how things go and 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 then take the the right decisions. How much of a lasting effect will this pandemic have on Gibraltar's economy? What sort of impact will it have, certainly for this year? And do you think we're likely to see a recession? I think, uh, let us not uh, delude ourselves, this is a huge challenge, uh, not only for Gibraltar, but for the whole world. So um, whether, whether this is, how long this is going to last, how long is a piece of string? What we need to do is make sure, and that is why we have uh, this uh, Task Force Future Working Group, which will prepare itself for the future in the best way possible. OK, Task Force Future has been set up to help Gibraltar's key sectors, tourism, the port, financial services and gaming. Tell us, what's the government's strategy in restarting these sectors? Uh, well, as um, my colleague Albert Isola announced yesterday that we had our first meeting, myself, um, uh, Albert and Gilbert Likudi, in which we decided that the initial steps to be taken should be that we should go back to our working to our to our um, to our teams and come back with a strategy and to come back with ideas on how to take Gibraltar forward um, after that we intend to engage with our relevant um, our relevant responsibilities in my case business and tourism uh, where we will reach out to the uh, organizations which I've already done I've already spoken with the president of the Chamber of Commerce I've already spoken to the chairman of the Federation of small businesses um, expressing how I want to, to move forward and what I want from them, which is initially something in writing and in, 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 with, with their ideas, so we can pull all these together and, and, and come back, and evaluate them and then come back with a, with a right way uh, forward. As Minister for Tourism, do you have any firm ideas as to how you can restart that sector? Well, I think um, the, the it, uh, tourism is a, is a very, very, it's always been a difficult, uh, uh, difficult one, but, but I think it's even more difficult now. The tourism, we're going to have to look at it in a short term and a medium medium term and a, and, and a long term. A short term, we need to engage straight away with the with the airlines when they're ready to 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 talk because they have huge problems. We'll have to deal with the cruise ships. Gibraltar has a, uh, a, a an excellent business with 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 the cruise lines, and I think we need to we will will have to engage with them again straight away so that we can we can attract them back to, back to Gibraltar. I have prepared a a, a paper. Uh, as I said, short term, medium term, and uh, I've been working on this before even uh, Task Force Future was announced because I know that tourism is going to be uh, impacted in a bad way uh, throughout the world. Gibraltar is small, we're going to be competing against uh, uh, bigger countries out there. Um, and, and, and really it is, it's a question of uh, engagement and, and, and up to, uh, unfortunately, starting from scratch, I feel. And in terms of easing Gibraltar out of the lockdown situation when the time comes, do you have a plan in place in terms of business, what businesses can open, when they'll open, um, any idea at all of how that's all going to play out? Yes, um, it, it's a bit early at the moment to, to um, speak about specifics of, 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 the, of the lockdown. Uh, but yes, we're constantly discussing this in, in Cabinet. Uh, we all have different ideas and, and, uh, and, and, and we're trying to see how uh, when the time comes, uh, depending on the advice that we get from uh, public health, 
um, we, we will then uh, make that decision, the right decision for our people, because that's what it's all about first, the, the, the health of our people.